bringing you another story time Sunday time with God and today I wanted to welcome you into 2017 happy new year so today I just wanted to cover uh, what I'm going to be using and reading from um, for this year's 2017 story time Sundays and I'm going to be using this book right here Jesus calling every Sunday on the day that specifically for that day I'm going to share that devotional with you guys too and the scriptures in the from the Bible as well you can purchase this from Amazon I purchased it on Amazon Amazon for my uh, siblings, my brother, my sister, myself. And so you can find it there. The link will be in the description if you want to go directly to that link to which one I purchased on Amazon. Okay. So I love this daily devotional uh, after studying this before I get on my story time Sunday because she gives you the message in first person as if Jesus was talking directly to you. And I think that's a really, really great approach because some of us may not understand that we can have that personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with Christ and talk to him like I'm speaking with you. Um, but it seems kind of weird sometimes because we can't see Jesus. We can't touch him. We can't give him a hug. But we believe in our hearts and in our souls. And because we have the Holy Spirit in our souls, we know that he does exist and that he's real. And so I think that's a great, beautiful approach in this book, in this daily devotional. So it's for all days of the year, 365 days of the year. And I just found that to be really insightful and I love that. And if you want to, you can have your journal, if you have a journal, after reading your entry, you can really elaborate on that. How did that passage make you feel for the day? And really take you step by step through the word of God. And so I think that's really nice to have daily devotionals in the first, initially in the first place, because if you are getting to know God and you're not familiar with the Bible, I think a daily, a good daily devotional will help you to strengthen your relationship with him, but also learn the word of God, learn the Bible. And so I hope that you find a daily devotional that you um, can grab hold to and embrace and commit to for the entire 365 days of the year. Or you can purchase this one and follow along with me on Sundays. And then during the week, you can go ahead and do the other ones for every day of the week. Okay. So I wanted to go ahead and read January 1st passage to you all so that you can uh, get an idea of these daily devotionals and also the, uh, the actual chapters for uh, today, January 1st, 2017. And it reads, Come to me with a teachable spirit, eager to be changed, a close walk with me in a life of continual newness. Do not cling to old ways as you step into a new year. Instead, seek my face with an open mind, knowing that your journey with me involves being transformed by the renewing of your mind. As you focus your thoughts on me, be aware that I am fully attentive to you. I see you with a steady eye because my attention span is infinite. I know and understand you completely. My thoughts embrace you in everlasting love. I also know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Give yourself fully to this adventure of increasing attentiveness to my presence. And in the bottom of the devotional, it referenced two chapters. And the first one is Romans chapter 12, uh, verse 2. And in my Bible, I made sure to turn to both of these uh, chapters for you, which is also kind of emphasized in that daily devotional passage. But I'll read it exactly what it says from uh, the Word of God here. And it says, 12.2, Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So as you go into this new year of 2017, you want to do away with the old ways, the old ways of thinking, the old ways of doing things, the old ways of deciding on what you think is best for you and give God a shot. Give Jesus Christ a shot. Come to him. 
Give, cast all your cares on him. Let him know what's going on in your life. And believe and trust and build that relationship with him like you would build your relationship with your friend or a lover. Just really give him that intimate time. And like I said, using a daily devotional is a great way to do that. To learn about him and learn what he has for you. Because he knows you better than you actually think. And so the second verse is Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. And that says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So as you go into your 2017 and on this January 1st, I hope that you take those two verses and you really focus on those verses and really hear what God is trying to say to you, that he has amazing plans for all of us. And I'm excited to see what those plans are for myself in 2017. And I hope you are too. So I hope you have an amazing, prosperous, joyful, healthy, um, insightful, life-changing, transformational 2017. And as you go through your 2017, if you have some amazing things that happen in your life and you can say that Jesus Christ is the one who made it possible, share those blessings in below the comments in this video. Um, and I would love to hear about them. So you can leave them in the comments for me to read, okay? So I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching the Storytime Sunday. I wish you a blessed week. And if you enjoy the Storytime Sunday, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me during the week or other Storytime Sundays, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.